Sri Lanka's parliament elected longtime politician Ranil Wickremesinghe as the country's new president in a secret ballot on Wednesday. He previously served as prime minister to the former president, Gotabaya Rajapaksha, who fled the country a week ago after months of protests calling for his resignation. Due to Wickremesinghe's close association with the former president, many protesters entered and torched his house last week, and have called on him to resign as well. Wickremesinghe takes office as Sri Lanka's economy continues to face soaring inflation, and shortages of essential goods like food, fuel and medicine. Many Sri Lankans are still waiting hours in line to buy basic supplies often at prices that have doubled or tripled in recent months. The World Food Program's most recent analysis reported that 86% of families were eager skipping meals, eating less or buying worse food. Sri Lankan historian at Oxford University Shamara Wedamuni said that former President Rajapaksa's rule was, to put it bluntly, a short-lived train wreck. She spoke with all things considered about what Sri Lankans are expecting from the new administration, and what led to this moment. On whether Wickremesinghe has signaled any plans to staunch the country's economic crisis he has made some progress in terms of negotiating with the IMF, who are hoping to get some sort of bailout from, and he has been working to try and improve our fuel situation. But those changes are yet to be felt at the ground level. Walking around Colombo at the moment, we just see queues of cars snaking around the city, where people have been queuing for days to get petted. So the crisis is still very real and still to be resolved. On the political journey of Sri Lanka's former president, who is now in exile Gotabaya Rajapaksha was new to electoral politics. He has a military background and he then served as a defense secretary under his brother Mahinda Rajapaksa's government between 2005 to 2015. The Rajapaksa government during the civil war is widely seen as ruthless in ending a conflict that lasted over 30 years, but there are still huge gaps in accountability.